I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the state Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way lay my edges and this is how i do it and it's different from everyone else i like to leave the concealer on for a long time not for a long time until it becomes a bit just a little bit tacky so it's not so liquidy so i actually use leave-in conditioner not leave-in conditioner i actually use a smoothing castor oil conditioner to lay my edges now before you ask me i don't know what type of hair i have i'm not really into the 4c 3c thing i, I don't know but i do have fine hair so my hair curls very very um easily once i put water in it um i have quite a easy to maneuver type of texture so i'm able to use hair conditioner oh before i forget because i'm losing a little bit of my edges thanks to these braids i go in with um this l'oreal instant root concealer so this is black and what i first do is i spray this on see how much is dark in my edges so I sprayed it, spray it on quite generously. Yeah. And then I go in with this. So I put it on my palm, like so, that much. I probably am gonna need more anyway, but like I put about that much. And although I've got this um, edge brush, I actually prefer to use a toothbrush and this is a brand new one but this is the one i use on my edges only so i will take a good amount of the conditioner this is going to be very white but don't worry about it you guys are going to see the end result so i don't have a particular technique i just do my edges as And then I get my silk scarf. Now, I'm not someone that would ever, ever wear a bonnet or anything like that on the internet. I just think, I just think it's classless, but that's just me, you know, like, don't come for me if you do that. It, do you, but for me, you will never, ever, ever, ever see me with some scarf or anything like that on the internet. It just, like, mm -mm. And maybe it's because in my, like, regular day to, um, day, to day, I don't really wear scarf. Like, I'd rather sleep on a silk pillow and put my hair up and if i've got a wig on take it off and just not have that when i think anyway i tie it around the perimeter of my hair to kind of get my edges to lay down nicely and this technique would last me the whole day sometimes i tie it too tight and then i'm just like giving myself a headache but Okay, so now it's tied down. I can then proceed to blending these out. So I use my Refi. I use my Refi blending brush. It's got two sides, which I really like. But I find that this part keeps coming off every time I wash it. So I'm not very, I'm not sure about the quality, but I do like the color. And this part is perfect for blending out your concealer.
isn't blending i'll now go ahead and blend a little bit of it so that it doesn't look like my makeup stopped in the middle of my head well yeah now i'm going to get dressed and i will show you the full look once i'm outside or inside i'll figure it out yeah okay so this is the full outfit and wearing of course <laughs> okay angelina exclusive which i absolutely love you guys already know and my dress is from karen millen i have a black one of this dress and i had to get the burgundy one and she tell it like my husband for this me my shoes are mac and mac which i absolutely love they're like meals and then my bag is teddy blake take 30 pounds off my discount code <laughs> but i love this bag the size is just perfect and that's the look finished article <laughs> i'm so excited actually i forgot to tell you guys my necklace is by swarovski and my earrings i can't remember where i got this i can't remember but this is let fenty um mvp <laughs> there's no red there's no red like this red and it's like quarter to one i think yeah <laughs> Hopefully I'll get there by 2 o'clock um, But I'm really excited I do Yes Oh lovely, thank you Hello Hi What's your name? It's so pretty, oh my god I just got back from Fumi's event, Auntie Fumi, as I like to call her. It was really good. It was really, really good. Not as intimate as last year. Still on my way home. Still, still on my way home. So my makeup actually still intact. My lipstick, not too bad. I've got some oily, I don't know, maybe not. But anyhow, it's a really, really good event. I wish I'd spend more time with her. The last event last year was actually more intimate because there was a lot less people. But today, there were so many people. And I will say one thing about Fumi Nation. Every single woman I spoke to were beyond lovely, like they were so so nice and so polite and so friendly i honestly i was just in awe of them and obviously i was like guys follow me on youtube from abby with love i talk about perfumes but then they liked the way i smell by the way i got a lot of compliments but there was a point where the conversation swiftly just moved on to like relationships and i was kind of giving advice because people are generally shocked that i've been married for as long as i've been married for i've been married for 15 years going on 16 years in a, in a few months and i do i do know a lot and there's a lot of women around me who have been married for a while some worked out some hasn't worked out like i honestly have a wealth of experience when it comes to relationships so i was just sharing my own like knowledge certain things that i've gone through and i find like these ladies are older than me and they were like wow you know so much so oops. so i definitely want to do a lot more um with relationships and just sharing and you know you guys can ask me questions but i'm just gonna figure out how to kind of incorporate it um onto my channel and yeah we'll see but um i've got a goodie bag which i my arms are aching i forgot my um older 
I've got a goodie bag that I'm gonna go through. I met so many women, that so many boss babes today that I was just incredibly impressed. So I'm gonna go through the stuff that I got as soon as I get home and I'll see you guys then. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you along with me. There's not gonna be time stamp because things happened here and there and I could not keep tabs on the days and all of that jazz. But first, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment down below. Now I'm gonna kick off this video with the new Kayali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42 right here. I bought this the day it came out with my own coins. This was not sent to me and I received it. I got mine from Sephora and I got me a hundred mil because I felt that I needed a hundred mil because my daughter loves Kayali and we always share perfumes anyway. So it made more sense to get a hundred mil as opposed to a 50 mil. Plus I had a very strong feeling that I would love this perfume, but this is how it came. And obviously it had like a film over it, but my daughter had already opened it because she couldn't wait to smell it so this is the perfume in its full glory and it's got the notes at the back as always and can i just say this is my favorite kali bottle now i love the vanilla sugar royal patchouli and i also love um yum pistachio but this one with the holographic pinky it just looks aesthetically pleasing to my eyes now when i first sprayed this perfume the atomizer is amazing as always Ugh. now <laughs> the notes says candied pear sweet violet bubblegum white caramel rock sugar and vanilla cream what i get in the first spray is actually the rock sugar this perfume literally smells and almost tastes well i didn't taste it but you know like Sometimes you smell a perfume and you can almost taste it. It tasted quite sugary to me. Now, this perfume does have that pear note. It does give you that fruity essence. But ultimately, you're getting a super, super sweet, bubblegummy, um, sugary, like sugary. <laughs> this tastes so, not taste. I keep saying taste because it smells tasty, if that makes sense. I really, really love this. I enjoyed this. The longevity, I, I don't know. I can't tell you, but it does project. It projects. The whole room is filled with this perfume. It smells amazing, but you have to love a super, super sweet, intensely sweet perfume, but it's not cloying. Now, what perfume would I compare this to? I would say it could be in the family of the Labelle sisters. <laughs> Um, this does have a little bit of a label vibe, not just because they both share like the pear notes and the vanilla notes. It just gives me a label vibe, but more in the dry down. Now, I don't like label anymore. I loved label. I used it, but there was a time where I just could not take the smell of label anymore. So I decluttered it. Um, I also bought the Le Parfum. I also decluttered it because there was just something in that perfume that wasn't doing it for me anymore. Whatever that thing was in Labelle, it's not here. So I truly enjoy the scent profile of this perfume. I will obviously report back in terms of longevity, but this is not light. This is not like a fleeting scent that you spray on and you're like, oh my God, I can't smell it after an hour. I can smell this. At least I've had it on my skin today for around about three hours and I can still smell it. So longevity is given not, to, not too bad. But once I spray it more and i use it when i go out and i can come back with an authentic um length of time that this lasted for on my skin but so far so great i absolutely love it now would i advise you to blind buy i think if you like Kayali perfumes and if you like a fun sweet happy scent then definitely why not there is a 10 mil a 50 mil and a 100 mil so if you're not sure you can always get the the, the 10 mil because you can now try it out and see if it's a love for you but if you like a super sweet perfume and you like them type of label fruity bubblegummy fun and happy scent you would absolutely love this so clearly well done 
let me give this a rating i will actually rate this a 8.5 out of 10 that's how much i'm impressed by it so that is vanilla candy rock sugar 42 by Kayali. so let's move on to the full me desalo vote event that i went to two weeks ago i went also last year if you guys don't know for me i don't know if you're under a rock i don't know what to say to you because for me there's all of old is it's our internet auntie right she's so amazing she's wonderful at what she does she's extremely kind she's extremely generous she's like she's a she's a woman's woman like she's such a powerful woman that wants other women to succeed and i say that with so much pride because there's no not many women genuinely wants other women to succeed i can tell you that firsthand people want you to do well they say it to you but they don't actually mean it but Fumi is one of those people that genuinely wants women to win and i salute her for that reason this is why i will always <laughs> watch every video i will always go to every event because she's so she's just great she's just great and i got to meet her i met her last year my husband met her sophia met her and we took pictures together i can't find the picture so i can't even put it up there but i think she had the picture in one of her videos um last year but i don't have any pictures but i do have a picture this time um the event was amazing there was a lot of people it was a lot less intimate than the last year one which is to be expected because she's got what nearly se well, 700 and something thousand following on um youtube i will link her channel down below anyway um, and I'll put like little snippets of the event. I didn't really get to take much, but from the little that I took, I honestly enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. We had food, we had um, music, we had pictures. We did have a lot of fun. And I loved being in the um, company of a lot of women who are doing well, who are successful. And I'm going to share the goodie bag. I might as well just show you guys now. Um, so basically I got a goodie bag which is here so the goodie bag is got fdb F -F -D -V, which stands for fumi de zalo vold her husband's surname is vold um so i got quite a few items so i'm going to start with this um wrapping paper which is done by a company here in london i'm going to look for their name and i'll put it in the description box below um so basically they make wrapping pa papers in african fabric which is just very different very innovative this is amazing um we also got um a clari clarifying serum by a brand called serumize because i've not opened this i don't even know what's in here um and then we also received of course <laughs> juvia's place and let me show you this palette to be very honest with you i, I don't do makeup like that but I do love Juvia's Place. If I can pop this open. Ooh, pretty. So that's the palette. That is really pretty. Knowing me, I'm probably going to use that color. Maybe that color. Maybe this as well. Ooh, and maybe the gold shimmer actually. But I don't see me using that pink. I'm not that adventurous, I don't think. But yeah, so that is the palette from Juvia's Place. This pencil from Gerard Cosmetics. And the color is called Bel Air. And then another one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a setting spray. It's called Spray All Day. Hang on, let me see. I used to buy this from America years and years ago. I actually used to sell them on eBay. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the setting spray. Baby, do you remember when I used to get the Gerard Cosmetics? They used to do sale and I'll buy, buy lots and I'll sell it over on my eBay account at the time. Kylie. And I used to get Kylie Cosmetics. Guys, I've dabbled in some businesses, especially um, before I started like working full time. And then we got some sweets, which I don't know if I'm going to eat because I can't have gelatin and gelatin's got pork so um i don't know if i'll be able to eat this but yeah um i also got ah last but not least um this is from healthy hair studios for me it's always going on about healthy hair studios because they've made our hair so healthy and they gave us the mango butter which looks like this Kind of like shea butter. Hmm. 
it doesn't actually smell like mango no it doesn't smell like anything but it's mango butter and you can use it on your hair thank you so much for this goodie bag auntie for me and her sponsors it's been amazing before i go on i wanted to also share sorry if this is all over the place but this is why i thought doing vlog style videos is probably more me right now because i'm all over the place i got this fan from amazon this fan is so nice and bougie because spring is around the corner summer is even closer even though it doesn't seem that way in london at the moment i feel like you're gonna need a fan so check this out so it's got five settings yeah oh this is so good i'm gonna link it down below for you guys it's very bougie it's giving aesthetics so aha so i actually went to an event with or uh, to see um josephine and it was with a brand called granado rio de janeiro so they gave me this goodie bag they gave other people the goodie bag as well and it contains a discovery set which looks like this now what i love about the brand is the brightness the happiness the it's just wonderful um i believe they are from brazil and they've been around for a while um so they open they've got a store not open they've got a store in covent garden and anyway this is the discovery set that i got i can't tell you my favorite one because this is their new collection for summer my favorite one so we have gardenia um then we've got there is magnolia there is violetta violetta and there's also rose the mask my favorite is the violetta because it smells like purple flowers and iris so that's the one that i like the most if you want to check out the brand i will leave their details down below it was a really really nice event now i've got one more thing to show i don't even know if i should just wait till next week to show it but basically one of my followers on instagram and also on youtube her name is jade hi jade if you're watching so she basically told me she dm'd me and she said that um lush i've i'm gonna release some gourmand um body care products and i jumped on it straight away i bought almost every single item that i could find because i love lush so this this is the box this is the box and i am going to not bother to oh there it is and opening so this is it and i think because i got loads of things i am going to leave this until the next vlog because i'm conscious of time and i still have quite a few things to share on this vlog um i do hope you enjoyed the vlog comment down below like what you'd like to see <laughs> i also want to dive into relationships um on here i feel like that's where my strength lies i'm able to share my experiences i'm able to help with dilemmas so actually if you've got any relationship related topics that you want that you want me to talk about send me an email send me a dm and just let me know i have been married for a long time 16 years and counting you know i'm a young woman and you know i feel like there's a lot of waves that i've gone through in my relationship and in my marriage that i can share with people that can hopefully help somebody out and if you're single and you want me to help you out let me know i can tell you what i did you know um but anyway if you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you enjoyed the rest of this vlog make sure you comment down below when you're done i will link everything that i've mentioned in my description box below and anything that i forget to list kindly just ask me in the comment section and i will respond but yeah i will see you guys at the end of the video if not i'll see you next week lots of love bye too much but now it's never too much because when push comes to shove girl just trust i won't get sick of us
Sassy Fresh I'm doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking fuller You're picking by my walls And baby, let's settle up Cause lately the world's been going crazy And I gon' need somebody to turn Saltine and ginger ale That shit will never fail I keep it tucked on my body Cause I don't feel well Girl, tell me something else Saltine and ginger bell That shit will never fail And you may think that I know too much But now it's never too much Because when push comes to shove Girl, just trust I won't get sick of us Oh, hold up, Shima Come for queen, my squeeze a night Who opens up this package is too tight Oh, whoa, and know you got it like that Bring it on back, cause you got it like that, ah, yeah And know she got it like that Sometimes desserts her best went last Or your daddy gonna beat my ass Yeah, yeah, baby, oh What notes did you say Scott again? Sorry? What notes does oh, it have? So inside the gravy it has a, a, a vanilla, yep. two bros, a walnut milk cocoa. That's what I smell. That's, it. That's very nice. Yeah. Red peony accord, vanilla musk accord, and this is the bottle. It reminds me of like a potato. Um, yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> Why did I whisper that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a massive no. Um, it's just it's just quite musky and clean, clean and musky. Um, I don't have anything else to say about it. Yeah. I actually never thought I would say this, but I feel overwhelmed <laughs> with all the perfumes I'm smelling and nothing is really blowing me away. I don't know if it's my mood or just the fact that I have so many perfumes. It's really hard for me to be like, yeah, this perfume is the ish. But um, I smell Bravi by Thamina. I smelled it before when it first came out and I thought it was okay. But well, smelling it today, I was like, this is the best thing I've smelled today. Um, so it's the only perfume that actually stood out to me. I smelled quite a few from Ormond Jane. Um, you guys saw the new Delina bottle. It's still like the same scent, but the bottle is different. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, oh, everything is just like, bleh to me. Um, and I just got here. I've not even been here an hour. And I haven't smelled that many perfumes to be so put off. But not even put off is like, I'm not vibing with anything. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to add this. And I came here to buy perfume today. I wanted to buy, because I normally shop online. But I wanted to go through the physical experience of buying a perfume and you know getting samples with my gift I mean getting a gift when um, you buy a perfume and nothing nothing standing out I think I'm just gonna go and get some food and just go home it's really sad actually because I came all this way and nothing sticking oh well I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Guess who I'm No, no, going. no, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. <laughs> Coco. Welcome back to my building. channel. <laughs> what perfume are you wearing today? You smell amazing. I'm Please. wearing My Way by yeah. Giorgio Armani. You guys know I love My Way. How do I smell? You and then you know what I'm wearing. <laughs> Yeah. She's wearing a Kaoli fragrance. You guys know how I am with Kaoli, but she smells good. Like, Thank you. So it's a Thank pink you. bottle, Kaoli. What's yeah. it called? Sweet Diamond. Pink Pepper. Yeah. That one. Yeah, she that smells. One. Hello. You. We're fragrance content creators. Of course we smell good. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, guys. This is Abby's phone. But this is me. I have Megan the Stallion knees. <laughs> I have Megan the Stallion knees. Be like me. Be like me. Because I have Megan the Stallion knees. See, I can go up and down. Megan the Stallion knees, baby. Get like me. Oh yes, yes, there we are, there we are. Yeah, so I've had that and then when I 